Hello and welcome back to SF Giants Recap and in today's video we're going to recap the Giants week where they had some ups and downs so let's get right into the video so make sure to subscribe if you enjoy the content the Giants faced off against two teams this week taking three of four from the Dodgers the first game was seven to two is a great job to get the offense going in the second game we lost it's eight to six by a walk-off homer where we gave up a 6-1 lead. And then the third game, we came back in the ninth and did really well to get the win and got the two-run homer by Wilmer Flores. And then the next night, we did almost the exact same thing. We came back in the ninth, and we got some a rally going. There was a couple calls that were controversial, but either way, the Giants won that game. And so we took three or four from the Dodgers, and then from the Pirates, we lost the first game and it was a pathetic game by a couple of errors and we lost 6-4 and then the next game we lost 10-2 and I don't even want to talk about that game but then on Sunday we came back and we did not get swept and we won 6-1 to and so um, we did really well for this week kind of like ups and downs but my player we're going to go on to the players of the week and my players of the week is going to start off with the hitters, and those are Alex Dickerson, who had uh, two home runs, five hits, four RBIs, and played a crucial role in some games. Next is Wilmer Flores, who might have had the most clutch week with three home runs, four RBIs, and six hits, and got the go-ahead home run against the Dodgers. Lamont Wade is last with four home runs, seven RBIs, and he did really well yesterday with two home runs. And also against the Dodgers to get that um, go-ahead single. And so that was really good to see. Um, on to the Pirates series, we did not do very well. But we did have some ups with the bullpen. And we did to play really well in the last game. And so now we're going on to the pitchers of the week. And we're going to start off with Anthony Discofani. He had seven strikeouts and six innings pitch. Only allowed three runs. Next is the newest member to the bullpen, Jay Jackson, who pitched in three and two-thirds innings and struck out five and only allowing no hits, no runs, no walks. He did really well. And Harlan Garcia, Jake McGee, and Jose Alvarez struck out 11 combined hitters, allowing no runs, only four hits, and combined 12 and two-thirds innings. So that was really good to see those three dominating. This week, the thing that we struggled is playing from behind. In the first inning, we need to pitch real. We need to pitch way better in the first inning because we allowed so many early leads, and we had to play from behind in most of the games this week. And so that was kind of the thing that we need to do is attack early. And so if we could fix some things, it is don't allow runs in the first two innings and attack early in the first two innings because we've been doing the exact opposite. We've been doing nothing in the first two innings and allowing runs in the first two innings for the other team. And so we need to bounce back. This week we'll play the Dodgers again. So we need to get the wins against the Dodgers. And it'll be crucial. And then so we'll see what happens in that series. And uh, if you like these types of recaps for after like the week of the um, Giants week. And so if you like these types of videos, make sure to comment down below. Hashtag week recap because I like doing these. And the Giants had off to today. And so I was thinking about a video to do. And so this is the recap of the week, and I'd say it's a pretty good week. We got four out of seven games, and that's a winning week, and so I think we could have done better against the Pirates, taking two of three or maybe even sweeping them, but we just kind of had poor defense and our bullpen, like Zach Littell struggled, John Brebbia has some struggles in the 6-1 game against the Dodgers, but that will do it for the, today's video. So make sure to subscribe and like, and so I'll see you next time for a new SF Giant Tree Cat video.